What's up, guys? Cartoons here, and we are back with episode six of Quantum Break. That's right. You see here, we are still sitting on the end of Act Three, so we're about to start the beginning of whatever the fuck is next. One would guess that it was Act Four. Oh, shit, it's a new junction. All right, I got another choice to make, ladies and gentlemen. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Oh, shit! How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Ugh. Ugh. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. All right, he's going to have a choice to make. One's going to be bitch slap. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Hmm. Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. All right. What's up with Amaral? I want him apprehended. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Hmm. And what, what about over here, if we trust him? Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Hmm. Fuck! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the hell could happen. But honestly, put in his shoes. With this motherfucker standing to my right, I would probably end up trusting him more than some bitch that was missing. All right. Whether or not she got kidnapped or taken against the will, how am I supposed to know? Maybe she decided that I'll, I'll just go and I'll help these motherfuckers. So I wouldn't know. So I think I think I would end up trusting Hatch personally. Personally. So fuck it. All right. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. 
Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. See, Hatch is already on it. I knew I could trust him. Her. Who? Beth. Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her. Until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but... We won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. All right. So Beth is important more so than... Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. Oh, shit! She'd been here the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Oh, nice! This is the first time I've chose pretty much the opposite of what most people chose. So, nice. Because before, like, the first one, it was overwhelmingly the same. Last one was pretty split down the middle. This one, I'm with the, I'm with the, uh, the lesser of the, the two choices. So that's good. That's good. Let's see. Uh, oh, that's right. We're about to get a movie. <laughs> They're losing their effectiveness. All right, guys. I will see you after this episode. One closed loop. And no matter what I do. something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A chronon disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. 
He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion of this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But you'd be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Sewell. You see, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Sewin's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. Name the time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. Mr. Suri, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, then I can get us on the list. All of this entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. 
Alright, if you were lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! Tired as shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. Stand back! Stand back! 
Did you okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. We need to get... Get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you hey, understand? No, get on the ground! Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. Wincott? Yeah. Who's she? She's... Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Fiona! 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 You gotta listen to me! Hey! Ah. Oh, shit! You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him! What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me! This isn't about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here! No, you're gonna need me! I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. A nurse, huh? I'll see you there. Commander Davis? Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. Paul. Paul. What about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm mean, a damn man! Jack. He wants me to become him. He wants me to suffer. Until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing. She knew where your treatments were kept. She knew the complexities of your illness. And she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She created them. And then she took them away. I need her found now. And what would you like done with it? I'll decide that when she's brought to me.
behind Monarch's curtain and we'll bring it to you now. Good evening. You weren't expecting somebody this handsome, I Unfortunately, Mr. Serene is not the Liam? Hey, pal. I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Emily, let's go. Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys. Get away from me. Get Emily, away. listen. No. Listen, no. please. Please, please. No. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful. And they put me to work. I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. So, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school, and I told myself every night to ask you what. It took me a fucking year. Like, if Mom, I, if they gave me structure. You gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us. Our family. I did this to protect our family. And I'm leaving you have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming. And I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me. If you will just let me. Protect you. I'm on my side. Please. Please. This is me. It's me. It's me. We have to go. We have to go right now. It's Beers. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. 
immediately. Well, fuck. Looks like I damn trusted the wrong people, doesn't it? Ugh, trusted the wrong damn people. Ugh, that's my life, all right? Always making bad choices. Steady making the wrong choice. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to stop this episode right here. That's right. We just watched the episode of a TV show and that was it. All right. There wasn't no, no gameplay here, but that's fine. All right. I know if I, if I go ahead and start the next episode or if I try to keep this one going on, uh, it's going to be too long. All right. I'm going to have to end up cutting it off halfway through the chapter. So we're just going to cut it here and we'll pick up next uh, on the next chapter and we'll see where it goes. Anyways, guys, love you. Let me know what you think of this game and I'll catch you on the next video. Later, guys. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room. Watching cartoons up in my room. Yeah. Watching cartoons up in my room.